Oh gosh, it's a big storm. Can't swim. Well, I can, but just not very well. Oh no, watch out! Oh, it's Link. Hold on, buddy. He's all by himself. Where is he going? Oh, not anywhere now, yikes. That looked like it hurt. Or did he wash ashore? There's a random lady walking down the beach. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, did she spot him? She did. <laughs> Who's this guy? I hope he's okay. Wake up. Well, I'm sure he will in a minute. Because we are going on a brand new Zelda adventure. Hello, Steve Heard. Welcome to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I love this game. It's one of the only Zelda games I actually played when I was younger. It was on the Game Boy, then the Game Boy Color, and now it is fully remastered on the Nintendo Switch. I was not expecting this when they announced it, but I am so excited for it. Just like A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo that we played a couple weeks ago, I'm gonna be playing this one 100%. It's gonna be a ton of fun. So with that being said, let's get started with The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Oh, still not feeling so well, he's in bed now. Marin, oh hello, what a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What, Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are in Koholan Island, oh cool. Sounds friendly. You guys have a brochure? Oh, and I can just move around now. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, because the original one was like a tiny little Game Boy game on the tiny Game Boy screen, so there wasn't as much detail as there is here. Like, the, the room is like loaded with stuff. <laughs> Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in this area, so be careful, okay? Sure thing. Do you have anything else to say? Is this a stand for something? It says Goomba. Oh, right here, okay. So yeah, there's like weird Mario references in this game, I love it. Hey, what are you doing in my chest? Where'd you learn to do, to do such a thing? So I'll talk to you first, maybe. <laughs> and he looks oddly like another familiar Nintendo character. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. <laughs> so Marin and Terran. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better. What, how did I know your name? You think it's weird, huh? Well, I saw it on the back of, of the shield. Oh, hey, look at this. You got your shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. Alrighty. Oh yeah, some other stuff like this washed up on the beach. If, 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 if you go and look, watch out for monsters. Ever since you showed up, Link, I've seen them all over the place. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. Oh yeah, some other stuff like this washed up on the beach. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Just seeing if they have anything else to say. I guess not. Oh man, the music is so beautifully redone so far. I love the like little bundle of mushrooms and stuff. It's just so cute around here. Don't know if there's anything else we can do. I can, oh, oh, if this looks heavier than heavy, your current strength won't cut it. What about this? Is this a stand for something? It says piranha plant. Oh, I wonder if there's like things we can collect. That's new. Oh, this is so cool. So we're gonna try our best to get through the game and get through the first dungeon today. So episodes might be a little bit long, but it'll be fun. It'll be a ton of fun. Mabe Village. Oh, hello, chicken. I can lift the chicken up, but no, wait, I wanted to put you down. Sorry, chicken. It's a little doggy, too high doggy. Whoa, there's a chain chomp. <laughs> I think the chain chomp, yeah, will try to go for us. Oh man, it's so pretty. I wanna run around the town though and sort of take a look at everybody. Hi, Grandma Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo, I'm fine, how are you? Uh, good? You have anything else to say? No. All right, well, we'll go into your house. I think there's somebody in here. It's been like 10 years since I've played this game, so it's mostly me playing it like for the first time again, you know? Er, uh, hmm. How to say, please call outside. It seems that old man Arira is a shy guy in person. So there's more of these here. Is this a stand for something? It says Cheap Chief. Okay, there's like tons of cool little things like that to get, I guess. Um, 
We'll talk to him soon then. I think for right now, maybe we should work on going south. Don't attack me, I got my shield ready. But we need to go south to go to the beach. Hello. I hear that when you're running out of hearts, you'd better go find a big fairy. Why, I have no idea, I'm just a kid. Okay. I heard that you can press minus to look at the island map. Not only that, you can stick pins in it with A and remember stuff with X, but I don't understand what they mean by that. I don't remember this at all, okay. Uh, so I could, oh, interesting. Oh, okay. That's a lot more detailed than it used to be. Uh, I can like pin something, be like, okay, there's a chest there, there's a heart there. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we'll definitely have to use that. What does the sign say though? Tail Cave to the right, which I think is the first dungeon, and down is Taranbo Shores. I love all the random weird names in this too. It just, there's so many good things about it. Can I lift? No, I can't lift up bushes either. It's just such a pretty game. I really like the sort of the miniature toy aesthetic. But ah, don't, don't shoot at me. Taranbo Shores. Beware of sea urchins. Don't touch them with your bare hands, like this guy, okay. Um, I guess I might be going the wrong way. Excuse me, sir. I got places to be, let's go down these stairs. There we go, ah! Wait, are these the sea urchins? Can I pick these up? No, I can't. Go, 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 run. Oh, maybe I can push them with my shield. I sure hope so, because I'm in trouble. Ah, uh, there we go, oh no, here's our sword. I think we found it. Oh, what's going on? Hello, oh, it's an owl. Hoot hoot, so you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot live, leave the island unless you wake the windfish. So is it in the water or in the air? You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there, hoot. All right. Cool, so it looks like we gotta go north to the mysterious forest at some point, but for right now, I got myself a sword. Awesome, you found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it, unless there happens to be somebody else on this island named Link, but that'd be really awkward. You can swing it, you can sing it with B to attack any enemies in your path. I mean like, this guy, get out of here. Nobody's gonna be pushing me around anymore. Look at us. Get out of here, Mr. Krabs, leave me alone. I don't know what's going on around here. Um. I don't know if this is the way we're supposed to go or not, but we're just gonna explore this way. Ah, 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 da, da, da. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, there's a monkey. Hello, monkey, can I talk to you? No, you're just throwing stuff at me. Don't throw stuff at me. I don't know what's over this way. Oh, looks like there's a chest, but I don't think we can move this. Yep, while this looks pretty heavy, you'll be able to lift it with just your bare hands. We'll have to get something to help us lift that then. Anything over here? Not really too much. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go back. Oh, I love the little footprints in the sand. I didn't notice that before, that's so cute. Oh wait, no, yeah, I gotta swing my sword. So what's going on in here? There's a little hut. I don't know. Like, there's so much I don't remember. Oh, it's a crocodile. Welcome to Sailor's House of Bananas. I'm sailing, this is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. All right. Uh, you don't have anything else? Okay, if I find any canned food, I'll definitely get it to you. And I guess this is where you just chill out, is like your little bed, it's a hammock. You're cool. <laughs> All right, well that that's good to know. We're gonna head out this way. Can we fight these Octrox? Oh, our first rupee! One of many. Our fortune starts now. Oh yeah, so we can take out these guys pretty easily. We also you know, already have the super spin move and everything. Hiya! So we don't have to worry about reading any signs anymore. We're gonna slice our way through every problem, I hope. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. So what, what What about over this way? Like there's so much I don't remember about the game. There's some stuff I do that I'm sure will come back to me a little bit. Ow, that hurt. Gotta be better with pulling up my shield at the right time. But I think for right now we are gonna go back into the town. Maybe I'll talk to people and see if they have anything new to say. Hello. I hear that when you're running out of hearts. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. Doesn't. Never mind. Can I get in the way of the little game of catch? <laughs> I wanna play too. Anyways. What's going on here? Oh, it's a library, village library. Fun with bombs, read this book. Uh, looks like these are different tips and stuff, so maybe we'll get into that a little bit later once we are more, I don't know, interested in it. I don't wanna read a bunch of books a couple minutes into the first episode, I thought that'll be boring. Can I go into here or will you stop me? Nope, you don't stop me. 
Hello. <laughs> My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. Fur coat. Huh. Good to keep in mind. Uh, he has a fur coat. Maybe I just can't see it. I don't know. Oh, don't attack me! Oh my gosh. Uh, what about, it looked like there was like another little one in this one. Will you attack me? Can I talk to you? Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. <sighs> and some new accessories would be nice. All right, new accessories. If I see anything like that, I'll give it to you. <laughs> There's like a lot of people who want stuff. I remember that, yeah. Everybody wants, oh no, doggy! Hey, I didn't mean to, I'm so sorry. But yeah, everybody wants something in this game. Fishing pond. Let's go up here then. Uh, ooh. Looking pretty fancy. Grabbing some rupees, hello. Uh, no record set yet, give it a try. I don't know if I have enough money. Is this like something you gotta pay to try? How about some fish, little buddy? Oh, only charge you 10 rupees. Not now, I don't have enough. You have no more passion, live a little. <laughs> I can't when I only have five rupees as a budget. I'm trying my best. I think there's a big patch of grass around here, right over here that I used to farm up grass, or not grass, but, but uh, rupees on all the time. I would just sit here and do it for like an hour or two and just have like 800 rupees and not know what to do with it all. I never made it very far in this game, but I tried. Ooh, look at that, that's some big money. Now we have enough for fishing. Uh, there's other things you can spend your money on around here too. But we'll have to wait and see. I wanna at least get rid of all the bushes. Whoa, hey, look at this. This is a collectible. You found a secret seashell, but what do you do with it? I honestly have no clue. But I'm sure we'll find out as we move forward. Grab that one. Oh, and here's Marin out here in the uh, in the town now with a little pup. <laughs> Hi, Taryn went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this, it's called the Bow to the Windfish. Oh, well that's nice. Uh, what, what does the sign say? Here sleeps the flying rooster. You know, this game is so nice with, uh, oh wow, the every, the, everything grew back really quickly. But everything's so cool, like the, the, the bow to the windfish with the actual voice instead of little beeps and boops. So, oh, this is the telephone for the old guy. We can talk to him. Oh, this is cool. Bring, bring, hello, it's me, Aurora. Ask me anything about the island. If I get lost, give me a call. You know, there's a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later. Click. All right then. Well, I guess he's sort of our little guide if we seem like we're stuck on what to do next. Maybe he can help us out. I don't know if that'll be an issue for me now. Well, once you get something into the prize area at the trendy game, it's yours. We've been trying to win that Yoshi doll for our mom. Okay, I feel like that that, that took me, I remember taking me a little bit of time, is a little, uh, crane game or whatever it is. So I think that we'll worry about that later. For right now, I do just sort of want to go to the, uh, to the, the forest. But there's also, I think, our first heart piece in here. Maybe we'll have to see. Aha! There is. You've got a piece of heart. Alrighty then. So we need four of those to get a full heart piece added to our life. So we'll have to keep searching around. There's just little heart pieces you can find. So I think we're gonna go up this way then. I think we met just about everybody in town, except for a couple people, I don't know. Like there's a store in the trendy game. Maybe there's like one more house. We'll, we'll see them as time goes on. Mysterious forest, moblins ahead. They're not friendly. Oh boy. Uh, well, well, we'll do what we can. Mysterious forest, oh. Oh, I think the, uh, the, the owl's coming back. Hey buddy. Hoot hoot. Ho, oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave this island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? I have not. Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot. All right, I'll give that a mind. Thanks for the info, buddy. This guy's helpful too. Everybody's just so helpful and willing to tell you what to do next. So we need to go to the tail cave in today's episode. Oh gosh. Let's get him. Ha! Oh man. Ah! Oh, I got the shield out. That's good. Get out of here. Be gone. Oh, that was cool. Man, it's so cool hearing the music like remastered. Ah, uh, hello. Oh, I can't get back to you. I don't have any way to get rid of that rock. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I feel like the combat's better now. Oh, he dropped some major money. Oh, hello. 
As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. All right, um. <laughs> You're going to be lost thanks to me. <laughs> what? Um. Oh, he's gone. Oh, hello. You've still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you you feel like you can't go on. So this is a fairy. Oh, she looks really cool in this game. Um, I guess that if we were, of course, lower on health, which we haven't taken any damage from the moblins, we could have her uh, heal us. Oh, whoa, this guy has a sword and a shield. Can I take those from you? Ah, uh, oh, nice. Ah, uh, not bad, okay. Oh, he's over here. Oh, he like moved us around to get us confused and stuff. Weird, okay. Oh, and I can't go into this one because I don't have the ability to move that stuff. What about over here? Oh, I can't go over this pit. Well, that was in the room, oh, not the room. I mean, I'm used to the other Zelda games where you sort of walk in rooms. It's sort of, it's not like that. It's like one cohesive world now. So that's a little bit above the raccoons. We have to get rid of the raccoon because he's making us lost. I remember that a little bit. Hey, ow, that hurt, you know, rude. Well, there we go. Oh, there's another heart piece, but I can't get it. That stinks. Excuse me. I know these guys from A Link to the Past, if you hit them, they'll, they'll hurt you. They're all electric. So there's not really too much. Oh, no, I can go into this tree. I was gonna say, this might be a dead end for now. Oh, hello. I think, oh, you know, I do need to talk to you. I'm sort of piecing it together as I just sort of wander. Double, double, toil and trouble. A toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. A toadstool mix. We need to find a mushroom then. Can I pick up these? No, I can't. They're gonna be too heavy, yeah. Can I mess with your crystal ball in the background? Nope. Alrighty, so we'll have to talk to you again soon. Like I said, we're looking for the toadstool. Hmm. Excuse me. So it looks like I can't go too much this way either, so we're gonna have to double back now. Crazy Tracy and Manbo's Pond. Can't see either of those things right now. Oh gosh, I almost fell into the pit. Ah, charge! Oh, got him. Just overwhelmed him. Get him, got him. So I think there might be still some stuff back because we sort of got jostled a little bit because of the fact that the, the raccoon sort of moved us around. So let's go and change that. By a do. There we go. So if we keep like, ow, blocking him. Come on, charge me. He'll sort of leave an opening for us to attack him. Here's the fairy again. So we, I gotta sort of retrace my footsteps. Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. Ah. It's like a free sauna or something. All right, see ya. Oh, was that my one and only chance with you? Maybe I should have saved that for when we had less health. Hmm. Come on, get that guy good. This area I've definitely not been in. Whoa, you got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Oh yeah, I remember these. You could just randomly have an enemy drop that and you'll do some like extra damage. You could take out enemies mostly in one hit. So that's pretty cool. I love the little music to it. Oh, here we go, here's a little entrance. Ow. Uh, beware of floors with cracks. Don't get too comfortable on them, if you say so. Ah, got him. What about this bat? So here's the floors with the cracks. Oh, whoa, I can break these. Oh, cool. Oh man, no, I don't like it. <laughs> you can hear them cracking. So I can slice those. Can I push these? I know, I have to pick these up, don't I? No, I can push it. Ooh, what do we get? Whoa, a purple rupee. 50 rupees, very nice. I didn't know purple rupees were a thing. Maybe I did and I forgot, I don't know. Oh man, I remember this whole cave area. There might be a heart piece. Yeah, there is. So this is a weird puzzle. I don't know if we can actually solve this for right now. Yeah, the issue is that we would have to pick these up. Not quite strong enough to do that right now. So, pretty sure we can't get to that. That's okay, because there's still more we could do. What's this way? Oh, another one of these dudes. Okay, hit me with your best shot. So I can hit you right back, which I still have that extra power. Oh, it's the mushroom! You pick the toadstool as you hold it over your head. A mellow aroma fills into your nostrils. Wasn't that cool? 
Okay, so we're doing really good. Get this guy, yeah. Can't go over this pit though, so this is also seemingly a dead end, but we don't need to worry about that because we now have um, enough of a, of a toadstool, of course, to actually, oh no. Uh, might have messed that up. Hold on, let me give it a second chance. Uh, but yeah, we actually have enough of a toadstool, which is one, we only needed one, um, to go, perfect, there we go. Um, to go back to the lady, so that hopefully we can get whatever thing we need. Well, whatever thing it gives me, I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, I think it might give us a powder because I know that in A Link to the Past it was pretty similar. You, you gave her a toadstool, she gave you powder. And I guess we could use that on the raccoon. It's all coming back to me. Alrighty, so I think she was up here. So I'm gonna go back to her and see how it goes. Leave me alone. And back in we go. Hello, lady, I got your, your mushroom. Ah, it has the sleepy toadstool it does. Well, mix it up, something in a jiffy. Well, we'll mix it up something in a, in a jiffy we will. All right. Oh, look at her go. That was pretty quick. All right. It's all ready it is. Take care as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? I thought you said not there wasn't much. You got some magic powder. Open the subscreen with plus and set it to either X or Y. So as you can see, we can sort of just do that and go, yeah. Oh, I can light things up. Good job, use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools and I will make you more. Come back without a toadstool and you have to pay a price for my leftovers. So we can just buy some without having to worry about uh, getting the toadstool again if we wanted to. I mean, if we go by that area again, I'll definitely grab it, but for right now, I think we can even use it on these guys and they look goofy and we can beat them up and he doesn't give me anything for it. Well, that was a waste. Let's sneak up on this guy. Oh no, didn't work. Ha, ba! I still got him though. So yeah, I guess we just gotta go all the way back to wherever the raccoon is. But that'll be really good because we'll be able to see what's in that chest. Yeah, it was like right over this way, sort of. At least we could see it from this way. Got the first hit on him. Wait, what? That was weird. Oh, I'm on my last hit here. I gotta be careful. There we go. Ooh, full refill. I see that little raccoon. Ah, whoa, ow. <laughs> and did not turn out very well. Okay, buddy, you ready for this? Pa! Oh man, he's dizzy. Ooh, watch out, Link. <laughs> he's bouncing everywhere. Oh, it's, it's Terran, right? The last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the dawnedest dream. I was a raccoon, like Mario 3. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Alrighty, well that was perfect. I love how f yeah. this game keeps poking fun at Mario. I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set a spell before I head home. Set a spell? Okay. I guess I can't see that. But anyways, it looks like he got all of the mushrooms he wanted. And we got, oh, the key, perfect. You got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna go and do then. As soon as we're ready. Oh. Hello. Hoot, take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. All right, all right. The wind fish is waiting, hoot. All right, very cool. So we're making some great progress. This game is a little bit more linear. It's like, go to this thing, now go to that thing, now go to this thing, go to that thing, than some of the other Zelda games. Um, I think they made it that way because I think they knew it was gonna be a lot of people's like first Zelda game being on the gameplay and everything. Um, and I, I sort of like it. It was my first Zelda game. And honestly, I was awful at it. Like, I don't know if I actually ever got to the first dungeon. Somehow I never pieced together you could use the powder on the raccoon. Maybe I did, I don't know if I ever found it, the first dungeon. I was really bad at the game, I just stayed in the town most of the time, but it was still fun. Anyways, we are going to hop down this way, just like that, thank you. Get rid of these two dudes, not a problem anymore. We're all equipped up with our sword, not the crabs again. I wish I could pick up these like little tree nuts, throw them around, oh, we got another piece of power. You got a piece of power, so we can just slice and dice everybody around. It'd be cool if I could use this in the dungeon. Oh, look at this, there's a little spot I can bomb. I don't have bombs right now, but we'll have to keep that in mind for later then. 
Once again, I can't get to that chest just yet. Am I going the wrong way? I guess so. Can we take a look at the map? Oh, I just wasted some power. Can I like, uh, I guess not. I was gonna like unset it. Hmm. Oh, it's over here. Gotcha, I was going the wrong way the whole time. Oh, what is this? You got a guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. Oh, so I guess it's like the piece of power. Isn't that cool? Alrighty, well, yeah, we're supposed to go this way. Maybe this is why I, I never found my way to the tail cave when I was a kid. I just never realized there was this. Ow, hold on, yep, go that way. I'm gonna ignore some of these guys if I can. So I like how I can slice while my shield is still out. It makes it much easier to deal with some of the enemies. Okay, we're good, we made it! Here we are at the tail cave! And I have the big key, put it in there. How cool is that? And it'll open up the dungeon below. We're making some great progress for sure. Ooh. So let's go down there. I still can't get over how pretty this game is. This is so cool. I love this one. Level one, Tail Cave. So as per each dungeon, of course, they are sort of like a little labyrinth for us to explore and figure things out. Each room will have something a little bit different about it and we just have to, I guess I can knock these guys down the pit, see ya. And sometimes for defeating enemies, you might get a reward like a key. Ooh, thank you. We got a key, you got a small key, you can open locked doors or a locked door. It only has one time use, I guess. Oh, hello. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, everything's mad at me. Do I get something for it though? I get a compass. Oh, that's cool. You got the compass. Now you can see where the chest and nightmare are hidden. I think the nightmare is actually the boss of the thing, of the uh, dungeon. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is nearby. Huh. So a new feature as in, I don't think that was in the original. <laughs> So that's actually pretty cool. I won't just tell you exactly, you know, which rooms have them, but I'll say, hey, in here. Okay. Ooh, I like that, that's cool. So I'm guessing I need to defeat all the enemies. I can press a button. Ooh, there it is. We found our chest. So they're like giant puzzles we have to solve. Piece by piece, room by room, we just gotta go through it. We got another small key. And of course this first one is probably gonna be pretty easy. Oh gosh, skeletons are coming to life. Everything's very scary in here. Ah, oh. Ow, oh that was rude. Give me a little punch. It keeps jumping over me. All right buddy, ready for this? Ha, ah, I got him. And we get another chest for that, okay. Didn't even realize that was a chest room. And we get the map. At last, you got the map. Press minus to look at it. So now we can actually see the entire thing laid out, which makes it a little bit easier. Uh, we'll try our best to explore all this. Hmm. And I guess, is there not multiple levels for this one? I thought there was, but I might be wrong. So can we go up here? What is this? Whoa! Whoa, I forgot about that. That was weird. Sort of creepy. So let's take another look at the map. Now I'm up here. Huh. So this is like the boss room. I, I don't wanna do that until absolutely last because there's plenty of other stuff to find in the meantime. Okay, so I, I could still go into this room though because I do have a key. Now I still have one key left. Oh, this is tough, but not too tough. So I can't get across to there just yet, there's a pit. Oh, I remember these guys, I need to, I gotta make them match up, which I failed miserably at. Okay, ready, so it goes, Green, blue, red, orange, green, blue, red, orange. So green, blue, red. Green, blue, red. Green, blue, red. There we go, okay. Easier for me to remember the color than the shape. Alrighty, I'm gonna grab one of those hearts and see what's in here. We get, I don't know, oh, you got a stone beak. Now to find an owl statue, statue to fit it onto. Oh, right here. Oh, so maybe this will give me a little bit of advice. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. The spined ones. Oh, you mean maybe like the skeletons, I guess? Gotta keep that in mind. In the meantime, 
Oh, maybe these guys? I don't think they're spined, though. There we go, we got him. Not a big deal. So what's inside of this chest? Another key, lots of keys we can get here. We can open the locked door. And is there a room to our left? Well, there's another chest we can find. Get out of here, get, thank you. Whoa, there we go. We found it. We just have to defeat all the enemies. So it's definitely worth it to defeat every enemy in a room. And that is a red rupee, 20 rupees joy. Huh, one thing I did notice is that there's like a bombable spot over this way. I don't have any bombs. I wonder if I have to go back. That'd be interesting. I don't trust this thing. I don't like that one, but I wonder if my shield would protect me, <laughs> partially, uh, until I got knocked off. Let's go in here quickly, before it does that to me again. Oh, lots going on in here. Uh, be careful. Sort of gotta follow its pattern. Nice, okay, go, go, go. Can I push? Oh yeah, that's that's something I can do then. So I need, no, okay, so I can reuse the beak. I thought I would have to find another one. If there's a door that you can't open, move a square block. Because I remember that, I remember pushing that square block. Oh gosh, ah, ow, rude. So these guys just charge at you. Turn aside the spined ones. Oh, these guys are spinees for Mario. Okay, I thought you meant more like, you know, like the spine to the skeleton. Oh, I need that heart. I'm gonna grab that in a second. Ooh, piece of power as well. And that got me a staircase downwards. All right, I'll take that in just a second. First, we gotta get the piece of power. Beat up anybody who's mean to us. So what's going on? Whoa! Oh man, I forgot about this. It's like a little side-scrolling section with little Goombas. Look at these guys, they're so smug. Is that little smile they have? I feel like this game's more a Mario game than a Zelda game, and I love it. It's just sort of this weird mixture of just, ah, ooh, look at this. We're just taking everybody out. <laughs> that is so cool, so what's up this way? Um, I don't know. Uh, there's like health flying. Uh, I made it! And what is in here? Oh, it's a feather! You got the rocks feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. I love this thing. I wish this was in every 2D Zelda game because I just I love it so much. You can just you can jump out in this game. Honestly, I wish I was on a couple of 3D Zelda games too. I just I like the build the ability to make my character jump. <laughs> okay. Oh, is the music in here different? But look at this. We can jump our way back up. No problem. Oh. That doesn't use any magic or anything. We don't even have like a magic meter yet. So that's where we were just now. So yeah, if we could find bombs, we could get into this room. I might have to come back for that then. Ah, watch it. And then I can just shortcut that. Oh, that is so cool. I love how I can do like a little swing while I'm still in the air, just like hiya. That's pretty cool as well. So where else can we go in the meantime? Cause I'll go get bombs and come back. It looks like there's a way to get up here. So I'm gonna try that now. Excuse out me. These people are so rude. We still do have one more key left. Why is everybody gonna be beating me up? I mean, hey, maybe one of these will give me... Okay, well I don't have to worry about you, do I? Ow. I don't think so. I'm just gonna keep going this way. And let's see what's going on here. It is the big key, you got the nightmare key. Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Sounds cool to me. I mean, also sounds like a total nightmare, but we'll, we'll do what we can. So this should get us to the boss fight. If I can make it there, I'm getting pretty beat up. I really don't wanna die on the first dungeon. Oh, oh, I need that. I definitely need that. Hey, hey, that's mine. I earned it fair and square. Uh, I can't catch you. There we go, I got you. Okay, we're back to full health, thanks to that. So I don't need to worry about any of this, I don't think. Right? Oh, I never went into this room. Oh, maybe I should have done that. Yeah, we should, we really should, because I wanna explore as much as I can before I have to, oh, there we go. And uh, before I have to go back and like beat it and then find a bomb or something. That was it, okay. I mean, I don't know if falling down these would lead me anywhere, I don't think so. 
Because sometimes Zelda games are like that. Like you fall down a pit, it actually brings you to a secret room. And sometimes you fall down a pit and all it does is hurt you. So it's weird. Ah, watch it. Ha. That didn't work for me at all. There we go. I'm just gonna beat him up that way. So now, yeah, in this room, there's a little pit. We can just jump over it, no problem. I like it. The game controls, oh, hello, really well. Are you a bad guy? Oh, you're a bad guy. Don't push that at me, that's rude. Oh yeah, you, you stay out, over there. Oh no. It's like hopscotch, except a lot more deadly. Or more like jump rope, I guess. <laughs> Get back there, ow, stop being so rude. There we go, we got him. Get out of here. Oh, they gave me a fairy, I really needed that. Thank you. Oh, is this, I think this is somewhere I teleport if I get taken out or something. Maybe I can use it? Oh, oh, hey, that worked! I didn't mean to do that, it was an accidental button press, but I guess using some magic on it will teleport me around, or, or not. Okay, <laughs> didn't work that one time. But there we go. So definitely it's worth having the magic powder. It can really help you out. Ah, watch it. Oh, what's down here? I don't remember. I guess we'll go check it out. Oh, it's another little side-scrolling section. Little creepy skeletons. Just a little extra health, I guess, in case I needed it. I probably shouldn't have picked it up because I didn't need it, but all right. Nothing too exciting. I can just jump up the ladder. I don't think that's as productive. Okay, go, go, go! Oh, I have to press the button to open it, of course. Stop beating me up. Oh yeah, it's the boss fight. Oh no. Oh gosh, buzz, buzz, outsider. That's me. Moldorm. Oh no, it's one of these guys. This is always, ah, <laughs> super tough. Oh, I can't do it when there's a little flower over it. So we, we dealt with this guy in A Link to the Past, and it was the worst thing of all time. Now he's going all over the place, he's being a big pain in the booty. Come on, come on. Yeah, ha! Oh, I got him a third time though. So far he's actually, ah, almost got him. Uh, not too bad. Dad, ah, got him, there we go! We beat him with the first try, I can't believe it! See ya, Moldorm. Okay, and we get a big heart for that, so this should add one more to our total heart count. You got a heart container. Your maximum number of hearts has increased, and your health has been refilled too. Well, isn't that perfect? I needed that, I really needed that. And we got our first instrument. I think it's a violin. You got the full moon cello, I was wrong. Hooray. <laughs> Would you look at that. That is so cool. So our first instrument of many that we have to get to, I guess, reach the windfish. I don't really exactly remember. Swamp. <laughs> okay. Uh, swamp. I'll, I'll write that down. A path opens in the blooms. Oh, is this like the windfish talking to us? But I guess yet yeah, there's more I can do now because I can jump over the pits. So we'll be doing a whole lot more exploring in the next episode. But I do want to do at least one more thing in today's episode. Like I said, we'll go and, oh, the owl is going to go talk to us. But I want to get the bombs so we can at least say that this dungeon is completed. Oot, this is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. Wow. Uh, that instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north to Gapunga Swamp. Hoot indeed. All right, so we'll be going to Gapunga Swamp next episode. That'll be a lot of fun, I hope. I mean, swamps aren't always fun, but hopefully this one is. So we can do a little bit of a shortcut to get across here. That's perfect. I like it. I think that, yeah, we can just run back home over this way. Uh-oh. What's happened? Did you guys lose your ball? Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something to, at Bow Wow's house. It was really bad scene with the Moblins. So I mean, ah, it might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. So they stole the chain shop. Hey, buddy, it's serious. Really serious. Uh, it might be faster if you. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, oh no, your poor chain chomp. Aye, it's terrible, my Bow Wow was dog napped by a moblin. So, uh, uh, please somebody help my poor Bow Wow. All right, well then we'll definitely have to help you out. Nobody likes a dog stealer, that's just mean. So I don't know if we wanna to do too much more in today's episode besides go to the shop. This is the crane game. That's what we'll do next episode. There's so much to do in this game, it's great. Uh, but I wanna go up here, this is the shop. Oh, hello. Hey. hey, welcome, see something you like? Just bring it here. So, oh, you don't have bombs though. Maybe I have to come back later. Maybe I can't get bombs right now. Deluxe shovel, 200 rupees. Three hearts, shield. Did you steal my shield and sell it? I, th I thought I still had my shield. I don't know, I can't pull it out right now. And then a piece of heart, which is 200 rupees. Okay, so it looks like maybe I can't quite get the bombs right now, but I'll do one more thing. There was a group, I think there's like a house up here with a group of people in it. Oh, hello. Uh, who's this? Hey dude, what do you think of Marin? Uh, I don't know, I'm just a kid. Uh, okay, I think she's great. Everything's so dramatic out here right now. Hello. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Papal. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. Uh, if you know you're gonna be lost, why are you going? Look at how many beds there are. So I guess there's Papal and his wife and four kids. Oh, and a little baby. With four boys who look alike, even I get confused sometimes. By the way, my baby wants a Yoshi doll. I saw one at the Trendy Game, but I couldn't get it. Then we'll definitely have to try that out. I think that that actually starts like a big chain reaction quest of giving people stuff, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, we'll get started with that and so much more in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra's Awakening so now you've watched at the end of the you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.